Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep. It is Thursday, January the 27th, 2022. And uh, I'm going to do another tutorial today. And in this tutorial, what we will do is we'll create a scan um, of all stocks that have corrected over 50% and uh, have a certain market cap. So uh, in all honesty, this uh, the idea of this tutorial uh, stemmed from a podcast I was listening to uh, this afternoon and the podcast was Jim Cramer's Fast Money in uh, which he mentioned that uh, they looked at a scan uh, of the Russell 1000 where uh, companies had corrected more than 50% uh, over the last couple of months or from their 52 week high um, and at the same time these were some companies um, that had good earnings and revenue and had uh, and do have a market cap of over $10 billion. So I figured, uh, you know, if, if there was an easy way for us um, and uh, our followers uh, to be able to create this scan on their own, um, and then, you know, they can do it anytime in the future as well without being dependent on anybody. So that's been one of my premise when I do these uh, educational videos uh, is to help people become more self-sufficient and not be dependent on anybody when it comes to trading, right? In an ideal world, that's where you want to get to. So, um, so on that same theme, I'm going to show you uh, a simple way to create that scan. Now, in order to create that scan, you will have to have a script that I posted in my previous video. So I did a video about a week ago where I talked about key reversal spots in the market. And in that uh, description, I put a link to a, a script which gives you information where uh, you can, you know, see when a stock is corrected 10 or 20 percent from its 52 week high. So essentially, the script adds a label on the chart and states how much is a stock corrected from, from its 52 week high. Now, we plot two levels, 10 and 20 percent, but we're going to just use this script. And, uh, you know, you will see that just in a matter of minutes, we can replicate, you know, things that some of these institutions do um, with all the, you know, people that they have at their disposal and tools that they have. But we can create and get similar information um, today in a very simple and an easy manner. So if we go back into the main chart, what we'll do is we'll first add that study. And I want to show you. Uh, what that study does, just in case you haven't watched that video, but please do and make sure you get that script from uh, the previous video. So let's apply this and hit OK. And so what this is saying is at this level, the stock had corrected 10% and at this level, the stock had corrected uh, 20%. So these numbers are configurable in this uh, gear. So it's saying uh, 10 and 20, but we can change it to whatever we want. So let's say we want to find out stocks that have corrected 50%. And then for the purpose of this tutorial, we can ignore this percent correction uh, too, right? So this is the correction line uh, for 20, and we'll just disable this plot just for now, right? But, so it's going to show us just this stop plot, and let's apply and hit OK. And you can see the, in case of square, we have dropped over 50% from its 52 week high. So of course, it's not very easy because you have to go through all the scans individually to see which ones have dropped over 50%. But what we will, what we will do based on this study that we have, we'll be, we will be able to create a very uh, quick scan that will show us all the stocks uh, that have dropped below 50%. So let's just get into it. Okay. So We'll move into the, the scan aspect, and then here's a list of all the stocks that we currently have. What we will do is we'll add a, a study filter. I will say in the edit aspect of it, so click on edit and click on price and, and then hit on close. Uh, apologies, so click on price and then on close. And the close is less than and we have to look for that study that we have. So we look for that study which says correction. And here it is, right? Now, of course, you'll see here two numbers because by default, you're using 10 and 20. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just worry about this connect uh, correction line because we just need the first one which corresponds to this number. But since we are looking for stocks below 50, we will 
uh, change this number to 50, hit the save button, hit the OK button and run a scan. Now, let's just, uh, and the thing that you have to remember is that uh, I'm running the scan on, uh, I, on this public list called the Russell 1000, right? So just uh, so that we have all the major companies included in that. What we see is there's a handful of stocks um, in this close to 90, but uh, we will further add a filter and uh, let's add a filter, which is a stock filter. And then we'll scroll down and look for the market cap here, right? So the market cap is in millions. So we would do 10 and then um, uh, two and three, and then that should turn this into uh, 10 billion, right? So these have a market cap of 10 billion. Let's run a scan of uh, on these stocks. And now you're left with 32. Now, Jim Kramer was in his uh, podcast talking about two stocks in this, which he mentioned have good revenues. And that's something that at this stage, you would need to um, you know research a little bit on your own to figure out companies, not only that they have uh, you know decent revenue, but also have earnings that match with that. Uh, but by no stretch of imagination are these small companies, right? These are well-known companies like Pinterest and Plug and Ring and Roku and Spotify and Square. And, you know, these companies, you know, have a fairly decent market cap and, and are the right set of companies to put on your radar when the reversal happens in the market. Okay, so you can go and save this scan. I've already done that, so I won't, I'm not going to do that again. So let's hit the chart button again and... Um, what, what I've done is I've saved all these stocks in this list. So we can hit on a couple of these, right? Let's look at uh, two, two that he called. One was uh, Enphase and uh, the other one was uh, Etsy. So Enphase, as you can see, uh, based on this chart, has corrected 50%. We can see Etsy. It's also corrected, uh, you know, over 50%. So all of these stocks uh, are, you know, good candidates to at least have um, on your uh, radar uh, and by no means uh, you know this is a setup so you would need your own setup to figure out when is a good spot uh, you know to enter the trade right just because they're corrected 50 percent uh, by default doesn't mean uh, you can jump right into these stocks because once the market is in a correction phase it could stay below that for an extended period of time uh, but hopefully this gives you a very simple and an easy way to figure out in, in this case, all the stocks that have corrected over 50% from their 52-week high and have a market cap of over 10 billion. So hopefully this helps and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.